Hey there, what is up and welcome to my channel and this is a video where I will talk about some leaks from Thor Love and Thunder. Now, these leaks are not unofficial rumor stuff because these are something by Legos and you know, Legos are licensed products so these things are pretty much confirmed for the movie. So now the, there is a set which is like Thor having a Viking longship and you get the minifigures of Thor, then Mighty Thor or Jane Foster. Then we have King Valkyrie, then God the God Butcher and along with them we get two of the gods and if I'm not wrong those gods are from the comics or I'm not sure if they are in Norse mythology or not but they are from the comics that is something I know for sure. The other leaks include Hasbro Titan Hero series where we get Korg Thor and Jane Foster Thor. Now, in all this promotion materials, Jen Foster Thor is named as Mighty Thor, and Thor is just Thor, I guess now. And Korg is, yeah, Korg is just Korg. So you also get the first look for Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman's Thor's outfits. So you can see they are pretty comic accurate now. Chris Hemsworth's Thor. Now the Thor's golden and blue look are something from the very beginning of Marvel. Because I know I have read some very early comics. Those had Thor as blue, blue, black, like you know it was some sort of like bluish. And for Jen Foster Thor is pretty comic accurate as of what I remember from the top of my head. And I will have to search some Google images. Maybe this has some MCification, but overall it's similar. Now we have not got any Valkyrie in this detailed form, but we have a Valkyrie from Lego if I'm not wrong, and that looks good now. Now there is also another version of Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. Now Mjolnir from the package looks like it's broken, but and that is Spoiler alert, if you have seen Thor Ragnarok, you know, Mjolnir is broken pretty early on, so, so maybe this broken Mjolnir is the reason Jane Foster's would help have a health condition, which from the comics you know that she's suffering from cancer and it get worse with every time she becomes sore. And I think that can come into effect in this movie. Well, it may not, but I'm just saying from the comics. And Stormbreaker is pretty much the same. Maybe they would add some color and variations and all just to sell more products. But overall, I'm interested for this movie. That's it for today's video and hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Maybe comment your predictions and and follow me on Twitter at D-R-A-G-O-N-E-M-420. Hopefully I'll meet you in the next video. So subscribe and stay tuned.